Hello interwebs, how are you doing? I am doing well. This is just a vlog. Oh my gosh, can you tell I feel like crap? I never I never can tell if I'm one of those people that like gives it away when I'm sick or not. I feel like such garbage. Yesterday I felt fine. Like I was literally oh air conditioner. Yeah <laughs> yesterday I literally felt fine and then like I stood up and got like almost knocked down with a headache. It was the most instantaneous weird thing ever like it was so bad so I like went downstairs and I drank a big glass of water and I took a couple excedrin and I was like okay I'll feel better in a little while did not feel better ended up laying down like which is weird for me because I'm I'm a real workaholic like I'm not I'm not big on being late for anything ever and I had to film and so I was like I'll lay down and I'll film when I feel better I'll get up I ended up staying in bed till like midnight and then I was like okay well I need to get up I need to get some work done so I got up I got on my computer for a little while I didn't feel much better but I was at least like upright so I felt like I don't know maybe I would feel better after a little while and I sat at my computer desk for maybe 20 minutes and then I started throwing up <laughs> not at my computer thankfully so I went back to bed had to get up a couple times to throw up while I was in bed and then like I woke up this morning and I feel kind of better because I sort of feel like hungover without the joy of having like been intoxicated. <laughs> like it was just like a really, I think it was the weather, like the weather was really crazy yesterday and like it was like sunny and then it was super foggy, like the craziest, like clouds on the ground, fog. And then all of a sudden it just like the sky like broke and it just started like thunderstorming and downpouring. And then all of a sudden it would stop and get sunny and then it would downpour again. So I think like the barometric pressure was like all over the place and I'm really sensitive to stuff like that. Like I could feel it like the headache was like back here. It was, it literally felt like I hurt myself. Like it felt like I had hit my head and my ears were ringing. And like every time I breathed or like, you know, like swallowed, like my ears were like, it wasn't even like they were popping. I could just feel it. I can't describe it. And then like, I think I just feel like yucky this morning because I didn't like eat anything and whatever I did eat like was exercise from my body so like I don't know I just it's weird I still have like a remnant of a headache and like this has been three minutes of me like in depth telling you about this headache but like I get migraines like and like so I know what a migraine feels like and this wasn't normally when I get migraines they're kind of like like the sides of my head and like my eyes like my, I feel very like pressure behind my eyes this wasn't that at all it was like the dead like center of the back of my head and then my ears had all this weird like crackly pressure and like I was super dizzy I don't even know like it was really strange and like I said now today I feel all wiped out because I couldn't really eat anything yesterday and I ate as soon as I got up because I woke up like super early like now I know like 7 30 8 o'clock isn't early for a lot of people but like context I generally go to bed at like four in the morning and get up around noon super early for me like very out of character even though I was in bed all day yesterday I wasn't sleeping I was just couldn't move because every time I moved I felt like crap so like it was just it was just weird I feel like there might be a glare on my glasses I can't tell though I can't see well enough even with my glasses on to like really get a good look at the viewfinder I think I'm growing out my side cut not, not, it's funny, not for the reasons you think. The reason I'm growing out my side cut is after a year, yeah, about a year of having it, I feel like I shaved the wrong side of my head. Like, I'm right-handed. That's my left hand, but I'm right-handed. So, like, my makeup on this side always looks way better. Like, if I do eyeliner or my eyebrow, like, my right side of my face is always pretty on point, and then the left side is jacked up. So if I have the left side of my face shaved, that means like part of my right eye is covered, my whole right eyebrow is covered. So I just feel like I shaved the wrong side of my head. <laughs> it was like this epiphany I had the other day. So I think I'm going to grow it out. I've just been like wearing my hair like on the other side and you can't even really tell, right? Like I don't think it's super noticeable and then maybe when it grows out a little I'll put some extensions in that side just to volumize because... This side feels really, see, see there it is, um, this side feels really like not voluminous, but I feel like I hide it well, like I don't think if you saw me walking down the road with this, because growing on side cut is awkward, dude, like it, 
you know, because I don't want to cut the rest of my hair, but like I'm going to have like pixie length hair for a while over here. So I think I might just get like a very small pack of extensions and wear extensions just right there. Because um, it doesn't even matter if they like match perfectly because it's underneath anyways. <sighs> I'm worn out from talking. I have to film my wow inside video and I always, or wow head, wow. That's like where my brain is right now. I'm not even talking about the right things. Do you like my Diablo shirt? I'm wearing pajamas because I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm like such a mess today. Like I always film on Mondays. Like I, it's been like three or four months since I like haven't filmed on a Monday and like Nick kept telling me yesterday like you're stressing yourself out and making your headache worse but this was not stress related like this was like no other headache I've ever had in my life I am really stressed though like I have so much going on like I'm streaming at like midnight tonight I have a stream schedule of Boogie 298 then tomorrow at 6 yeah <laughs> Tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm streaming. Well, so I guess technically that would be midnight would be tomorrow too. But I'm streaming with Boogie2988, and then that evening, so Wednesday evening, I'm streaming with Dodger. And then Thursday, the electrician's coming to my house, and he's like, because our hot tub is just like we have like a <laughs> we bought a hot tub that specifically could do like the is it the 110 or 220? I don't know much about electricity. Um, but it pretty much can plug into a regular socket, but it doesn't work optimally. But we figured it was going to take a couple weeks to get an electrician out here anyway, so at least we could use it in the meantime. So the electrician is coming on Thursday to properly install the hot tub's electricity so it won't be like plugged in. It'll have its own like circuit and it'll be like hardwired into the breaker. I don't really know how that works. Side note, so at my old house, I don't really know how gas and electric worked, but we never had a meter reader. Like, that wasn't a thing. And in my new house, like, a meter reader comes once a month and has to come inside my house and in my basement to read the meter. Isn't that weird? I don't understand. Like, why wouldn't you just put the meter on the outside of the house? I guess I don't know how that works, though. I just... <sighs> I don't feel good. I have a lot of work to do. My mother-in-law gets here this weekend. And I have so much to do before she gets here. Like, I'm refinishing this desk in my office, and I still need to do another coat of paint on the whole thing. And then I need to do all the, like, baseboards. And then there's, like, a wall that I still have to do and, like, a windowsill. And I had bought this contact paper to cover the desk in that was, like, white with black floral and I really liked it except when I got it it's not white it's like off-white I mean it says it's white but it's not it's definitely like a vintagey kind of white so it looks like cream or off-white or something like faded I don't know I don't it doesn't match well enough so I'm actually going to line the inside of the drawers of the desk with that and then I bought this super cool it was called like gray pearl or silver pearl or something like that and it's like faux granite it's like um you can just it's it's like laminate almost like you put it over top of it but it's not like but it's supposed to be really durable like you can use it for a kitchen counter so I bought a roll of that to cover the desk in and then I have to get like new aluminum edging and um I have to paint like a bunch of the accents lavender and then because all of my office is not unpacked yet like you guys probably I feel like the lighting in this video is terrible, I'm sorry. Like, you guys can't see it in this video, but, like, all of the stuff that goes in my office, like, you guys remember how much stuff I had, like, behind me? That's in, like, boxes in my mother-in-law, well, I'm calling it my mother-in-law's room, but really it's just the guest bedroom, like, like, probably 10 or 12 boxes of all of my craft stuff, because that desk is going to be my new craft area, which is going to be really fantastic once it's set up. And then where the shelves are, I'm going to display all my pop figures. I'm really excited for it to be done, but it's such a big project. So I just really want to get it done. But there's, like, no end in sight, because it's, like, even when I get that corner and that desk done, I still have to do, like, behind. Like, I obviously already painted this, and, like, you can see those shelves are lavender. You can't see it from where you are, but I did the door frame lavender, and I repainted the door, which was a nightmare in and of itself. But I still have, like, the whole, like, walls behind you, and there's, like, a little closet. So I have to do the closet door. There's a little closet over there. I have to do that. There's just, like, so, so much work to do before I'll be, like, fully unpacked. And it this is such a crazy month with the St. Jude fundraiser and then getting settled in my house. I've got about six videos written, and I feel really, like, I'm very hard on myself because I work for myself, but I'm, I'm really, like, a workaholic. I have, like, so many videos written that I want to film, and I don't, 
I want to make sure that my office is like set up with optimal lighting and that they're because you know once you get settled you can set it up so that there's not a glare and that like everything looks really good and I just want to make sure like nothing looks really incomplete because I, the videos I've written I think are going to do really well like I have wow jokes four I have um this video that's like all the different types of Hearthstone players. It's really, I think it's really funny, so that's good. I have um, 39 things about wild pet battles. I have 39 things about 6.2. Um, I also started like another like things you didn't know about wow. I have a wow pop culture written. Like I have all of these videos written that I really want to get out. It's just like I don't want to feel like those videos take and I know it probably sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I swear to God I'm not. Those videos take like 40 hours start to finish to create. So I really want to make sure that like they're just really good quality. Because sometimes I look back at some of my videos that get a lot of views. Like one of my highest viewed videos is like um, like facts about League you didn't know. And the lighting in that video is so terrible. It's like embarrassingly terrible. And there's nothing I can do about that now. And it's like... 2 million views. What is that? That's so, uh, and it's like, I hate when I'm not, like, putting out, like, I really like to put out, like, one piece of, like, highly viewed content a month, like, an interview or 39 things or a pop culture or a fun facts, that kind of thing, but it's like, I, I've been moving and relocating and doing charity stuff and I think that even after the St. Jude thing is like officially over, I'm still going to be streaming like but only like once or twice a week and I don't think I'll take donations for myself. I did I did that like last year for a little while. Like most streamers take like tips or donations. I don't know. I just feel weird about it. Like it doesn't make me feel good about myself. I know that sounds like really strange, but I like I would rather I would rather get like sponsorships from companies than like ask or like imply or anything like I don't really want to take money from any of you guys like I'll leave my subscription button on Twitch open and like if people want to like support the stream that way but I'll probably still have like just a link to donate to St. Jude um because I just I don't know I just I don't I don't know I don't need money in that way and like I don't I don't want people to feel like the only reason I'm streaming is for money because like I feel like this year I've just really been like connecting with people when I stream and like the people in the chat this year have been so great like I've only really had to ban bots like I think I've banned like two people which is like nothing like you don't understand last year I banned so many people which I understand like part of it was my fault like obviously last year when I was streaming it was really hard because my dad had just passed away like literally just like he passed away like the second day of the event so like I was not in like the best mindset but then like people were also like intentionally like and I, I think I think there's just a level of maturity and I think that a lot of um, the Twitch audience not all of them of course but I think there is like a large portion of people on Twitch who are just young and they don't know like what it means to like lose someone like a parent and like they really just don't understand like how deeply that can affect someone so like it's not like I'm like oh those people were terrible human beings I just I really just don't think they understood like how serious of a situation it really was and um so like it seemed funny to them to like make fun of it but like it wasn't funny so I was like really overly sensitive and then like people were like I don't know there's some people who like want to get a rise out of you and when you're like overly sensitive like that's really easy to get a rise out of you so I'm like aware that a lot of that was my fault but this year has been like amazing like I feel like I've just had like the greatest like everybody who comes to my streams is super cool like we've raised almost six thousand dollars already like derp Derp Squad has raised like over ten thousand dollars already. The Play Live event as a whole has raised over a million dollars. I just feel really like I don't know, like lucky to be a part of this and lucky to have an audience that wants to help and like is is generous and willing to help. And like I'm glad that I'm in a financial state that I could help because last year when I did the Play Live event, I was so broke and like so depressed and like I couldn't really like help at all like I wish I could have but this year like I did all my April loot crate commission to St. Jude which ended up being like $900 like I'm so thankful that I'm in a position where like I can donate that money and it's not gonna like financially cripple me because a year ago it would have and I just I don't know I'm really rambling I don't feel very good um but I'm doing my best fighting <laughs> Oh, this video is not going to be good. If you guys watch my Wowhead video this week, it's just not going to be. I'm going to do my best. 
But like when I'm done filming and getting it uploaded and all of that, like I really think I'm gonna go take a nap. Because I just like don't. I probably shouldn't have eaten what I had for breakfast. I was like ravenously hungry when I woke up, so I made myself scrambled eggs and then I, had, I like cut up some watermelon and then had a huge glass of milk. And like looking back, maybe that wasn't the best choice of foods. Maybe I should have had like toast. <laughs> or even like cereal or something maybe like all of that like heavy like because even like watermelon is like very sugary even though it's like natural sugars like maybe like sugar and dairy and protein wasn't like <laughs> the grease and my stomach is finally settled though I still have this weird like remnating it really feels like I hurt myself like it's not even it's not like a normal headache it like legitimately feels like I'm recovering from an injury or something I can't it's weird. I can't describe it. Oh my gosh, there's just a loud noise outside. I don't know what that was. Sounds like a dump truck or a garbage truck or a school bus maybe. I don't know. I have to do my jams. I haven't picked out and they're right there because I have no jams on. It almost sounds like a vacuum cleaner, but I know that no one's vacuuming. Also, in the move, my vacuum got broken. I don't know what happened to it, but it's so broken. No one is going to watch this video. I'm going on 16 minutes of just talking about absolutely freaking nothing. <sighs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> um, it, I'll, I'll link my stream and the St. Jude stuff in the info below. Oh, you know what else I want to tell you? So there's this, um, like, I'm really good friends with this guy named Howard. He's a YouTuber as well. He's, like, Ice Flow Studios on YouTube, and he does Photoshop tutorials. So helpful, because, like, I don't know anything about that. So I've used tons of his tutorials, and he's been, like, a really nice guy. And he, uh, 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 and in a couple occasions, he's edited some photos for me because I, it was, like, out of my skill level, and he's just super cool. His wife is like the most adorable little thing. I can't even deal with her. Like her YouTube name is, um, I can't remember off the time I had Panda, something Panda. She's so cute. She like is just unbelievably cute. She does these vlogs about like comic books and Sailor Moon and games she likes to play and like she is so, so cute. Like, remember my old vlogs when I had energy and wasn't sick? Yeah, me too. Um, her vlogs remind me a lot of that. She's just, like, so peppy and, like, the the quality of them is so good, too. I feel like my videos are, like, I, like, clearly am not a videographer of us any sort. I'm gonna... <gasps> this is the worst vlog. Anyway, she's... <coughs> I don't feel good. She's adorable. I'm going to link her channel below and you guys should go check her out because she's super, super cute. And I think you guys would really like her. Like, I'm not like, oh, you guys should go check her out because she's my friend. Like, I have a lot of friends who do YouTube that I don't mention, but like, I would just really think, like, especially if you like, like, my older vlogs, I think you would really like her because she's just, like, so adorable and sweet and she just comes across as, like, the nicest person. I don't know. I just really like her. I'm going to go. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm going to try to film this video. I have no idea how I'm going to do this because clearly I'm not. I don't feel good. I'm really tired. And I don't know how that's possible because like I said, I was in bed like legitimately for like 14 hours yesterday. But, oh, I just don't feel good. I hope you have a great day. I love you all. You're in my heart. We'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.